Hey guys, Mr. Mewman back here again today with another complete set, and this one is quite old. Not only is it old, but it is the original base set. So before I get started, the binder we're using here is an Ultimate Guard. This is the three across. And the sleeves we are using on this set, they are all using the Dragon Shield Black Matte. So all 102 will be using those sleeves. So let's go ahead and kind of get into the original base set. So a couple things about this set. Um, compared to modern sets, there's no reverse hollows. Makes it a lot easier to collect, or at least it did um, back when this was the, the new set. Um, and all the organization here is starting with basically rarity. So we're going to go through all the hollows. Um, we'll go through all the rares, uncommons, commons, and so forth. So from, with that being said, let's get into this set. Now these cards are all near mint, mint condition. Um, just absolutely amazing condition on all of them. You can see here with this Alakazam starting it off. Moving into the Blastoids and Chansey, you can really see these, really see these shine. Here is the base set Charizard right there. As I said, absolutely amazing condition. Now, I do keep this in the binder instead of a top loader. Um, with these zip folios here, I have no problem keeping our whole collection in binders as opposed to top loaders. Clefairy, Gyarados, Hitmonchan, Machamp, and Magneton for the first page. Moving on to the second page here. So Mewtwo, kind of hard to see the hollow there. Nidoking, Ninetales, Poliwrath, Raichu, probably my favorite being Venusaur. And then the last hollow in this set, Zapdos. So of course, 16 hollows in this set. It's a lot easier to collect this back when this was a new set compared to some of these new modern sets that have um, you know, 34, 35 secret rares. So definitely a lot easier of a set to collect. So from there, we move on to the rares, starting with Beedrill, Dragonair, Dugtrio, Electabuzz, Electrode, and Pidgeotto being the last rare. And you can notice they are also or organized by alphabetical order um, as opposed to type like they do in the modern sets. So our first uncommon, Arcanine, Charmeleon, Dugong, Dratini, and Farfetch'd. Growlithe, Haunter, Ivysaur, Jinx, Kadabra, Kakuna, Machoke, Magikarp, Magmar, Nidorino, Poliwhirl, Porygon, Raticate, Seal, War Turtle is our last uncommon. Moving on to the commons, Abra, Bulbasaur, and Caterpie, Charmander, Diglett, Doduo, Drowsy, Ghastly, Coughing, Machop, Magnemite, and Metapod, Nidoran Male, Onyx, Pidgey, Pikachu, Poliwag, Ponyta, Rattata, Sandshrew, and Squirtle, and then Starmie, Staryu, Tangela, Voltorb, Volpix, and this is the um, error Volpix, the very common error, where it says HP 50 instead of 50 HP. Very common error back several years ago when that was printed. Um, and then Weedle is the last common Pokemon. So from there we move on to everyone's favorite, the rare trainers. Uh, for those that opened base set uh, years ago, you know how it was not very exciting to open a base set pack and get just a rare trainer compared to some of the other cards you can get in this set, some of those hollows. So from there, we move on to Clefairy Doll, Com Computer Search, Devolution Spray, Imposter Professor Oak, Item Finder, Lass, Pokemon Breeder, Pokemon Trader, Scoop Up, Super Energy Removal, Defender, Energy Retrieval, Full Heal, Maintenance, Plus Power, Pokemon Center, Pokemon Flute, Pokedex, Professor Oak with the very common discard your hand and draw seven, Revive, Super Potion, Bill, Energy Removal, Gust of Wind, Potion, and our last trainer is Switch, which we still use in today's standard format. So from there we go on to our energy, so double colorless energy that has been reprinted several times and even as secret rares as well then we move on to a fighting energy fire grass 
And the last three are Lightning, Psychic, and Water. So a very small set at 102 cards. But one more thing I do want to do, I want to take out this Blastoids, take out this Charizard, and then let's take out the Venusaur. And then I'll move the binder off to the side real quick. Okay, and what I have off to the side here are these celebrations. So I wish kind of wanted to line those up and see how they are similar and of course how they are different. So you can see obviously the hollow pattern is much different. And of course you have the 25th anniversary stamp on the Celebrations uh, Classic Collection version. So there is Blastoids. We will look at Charizard next. So you can see really the shine on this Charizard. As I said, it is in pretty amazing condition. And then of course the one off to the right being the Celebrations. And then the last one here is my favorite, the Venusaur. So you can really see the difference in the hollow pattern. So that does it for today's complete set. Um, we do we will, may end up going back and doing some of the older sets um, as we still put together some of the new modern sets. But um, if you guys like this, make sure you like and subscribe. We want to thank you guys for joining, and we'll see you next time.